President Marcos is leading his party into the elections on a dismal record. Soaring inflation, a collapsing economy, growing opposition from communist guerrillas, scandal surrounding the Aquino assassination last August. There's a widespread conviction that government troops killed the opposition leader and tried to cover it up. But the president, thought last year to be close to death, is confident and commanding. He's regained control of events. I must soar above the turbulence of the times and carry on. We must soar above this turbulence and carry on with the top. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Catholic Church condemns electoral fraud and the casual murder of dissenters, yet its priests still bless the military's hardware. After they apply the holy water, Mrs. Imelda Marcos, the president's wife, applies champagne. She's a cabinet minister, their son is a regional governor, their daughter a candidate in the election. One opposition group is touring the country, urging an election boycott. They say the Marcos regime is corrupt and to vote is only to legitimize a sham of an election. On election day, this cavalcade will be replaced by another one, for the Philippines has invented flying voters, people who go from place to place, casting the same vote repeatedly. The poll watchers number them in hundreds of thousands, if not millions, and their motto, vote early, vote often. The ground is well prepared for electoral fraud. These few shacks are the registered address of 447 adult voters. This group of six houses, according to the new voting register, is home to 37 people, all born on August the 8th, 1962. This a list of 60 different voters who all have identical fingerprints. Blatant ballot rigging has always been a part of Philippine elections and it arouses little comment. The poor, who live in considerable squalor and surprising cheerfulness, have enough to worry about staying alive. The rich worry that any elected alternative to the present regime will open the way to anarchy and revolution. But elections are enjoyed here, even by a waterlogged opposition campaigning against an overwhelmingly powerful government. They're a mixture of fun, passion and danger. People get abducted, murdered and elected and sometimes it's hard to know which produces the greater interest.